Snake bite. An 11 year old Fairfield boy is bitten by a venomous copperhead snake. It happened during his family vacation near Chattanooga, Tennessee. I put my hand up there and the snake goes and bites it, but in the, my hand just started hurting like crazy. So I jumped off, but I saw that there was a snake. 11-year-old Ethan Aldridge is lucky. He and his mother used her smartphone to get first aid information immediately. Ethan is now out of the hospital. He says his finger is still numb. Doctors say he shouldn't lose any mobility in his hand. Wow. Wow. Believe it or not, there are several species of venomous snakes right here in the tri-state. We spoke with a physician to learn what you should do if you find yourself in a dangerous situation. These are the two snakes you should watch out for, the eastern diamondback and the copperhead snake. Both venomous, both make their nests in the tri-state. And if one bites you, what do you do? Well, the first thing to do is just uh, just treat it like any other wound. I mean, apply pressure to the wound, clean the wound, just you know, irrigate with some water would be appropriate to do as well. Jared Lifshitz is an ER physician at Bethesda North Hospital. He says don't fret too much. The chance of running across a venomous snake locally is slim. Getting bit, even slimmer. Most snakes are not venomous, and most snake bites that you get, that you see, we're just going to treat with local wound care, and the patient's going to do fine. Lifshitz also clarified several snake bite myths. He says, contrary to popular belief, do not suck out the venom. But sucking the venom out of a bite is not going to improve anything. It's not going to make it less of a, an envenomation. And don't puncture the wound. You, any kind of cutting is not appropriate either, so don't try to cut around the wound or cut out the wound. Lastly, there's no need for a tourniquet. And then the other big one that people try to do is they actually try to put like a tourniquet on to try to stop blood flow of that area. If anything, if you have a significant envenomation in your extremity, that's actually going to cause more venom to kind of sit in there and cause more local damage to that tissue. That, all that new information for you. Well, the Centers for Disease Control says more than 7,000 people are bitten by venomous snakes every year in the U.S. Of those, about five people don't survive.